Hey, what's up, everyone? Passive Baller here. It's been quite some time since you know since I've uploaded anything. Um, but again, NBA is back. Everyone's excited for sure for those basketball addicts right there. Um, this is a brand new start of the season. A very exciting, very intriguing um, uh, type of a season because of the changes, because of whatever, man. So this is going to be good. This is going to be great. Hopefully, it will be a great season for all of us. Now, the opening will be at um, October 22nd, 2024, and we got a couple of games right there. Uh, starting off with Boston Celtics going up against the New York Knicks and Los Angeles Lakers going up against Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, let's talk about the first game, and that's going to be um, Boston Celtics going up against the New York Knicks, and that will happen at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 7.30 a.m. here in Manila. But then again, before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be re receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. Also, for those who are interested uh, to avail our premium picks, uh, you can just actually check on um, the um, whatever is posted right there, right at the bottom, uh, our um, our IG accounts there, uh, WhatsApp, Viber, whatever, you know. You can actually reach us through those, and we can actually discuss how our premium picks uh, subscription would go like. All right, so let's talk about, again, this first game, uh, Boston Celtics versus the New York Knicks. Uh, both teams, obviously, um, and arguably, the top two teams in the East. Boston Celtics, they will be receiving uh, their rings for last season's uh, championship. And the New York Knicks, they will be displaying this brand, this brand new and, um, uh, for me, much stronger lineup for this particular game. So once again, this is going to be a very, very good battle. The spread that is given is minus 5, and obviously that's given towards the Boston Celtics. Boston Celtics, they would also enjoy the home court advantage on this. Um, in terms of momentum, well, I gotta say that both teams are actually feeling great for this particular game. The New York Knicks, again, uh, they did great last season, and coming on to this match, they are going to be displaying um, new players, a deeper, deeper, atten uh, deeper rotation, a uh, deeper bench. Uh, while the Boston Celtics, again, they will be receiving their ring. So in terms of momentum, while both are actually having, uh, having um, great momentum with different reasons, I gotta say that Boston Celtics do have the advantage because again, man, that championship rings are championship are championship rings. All right. Now in terms of uh, injuries, I can actually see uh, one injury per team, uh, which would be very uh, crucial for them. Uh, for the Boston Celtics, it's going to be Kristaps Porzingis. Kristaps uh, won't be available for them. And if I'm not mistaken, Kristaps uh, won't be available until December. Now, Boston Celtics, they are just totally different whenever Kristaps is right there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, if they don't have Kristaps, you know, they are going to lose. Nah. Boston Celtics, that's how good they are. Um, even without Kristaps, they are still uh, they are still great. But again, they are just totally different whenever Kristaps is there. Offensively, defensively, they are tough to handle. Now, for the New York Knicks, uh, the the injury that I'm looking at that that's uh, you know that would be very crucial at this particular game would be uh, Mitchell Robinson's uh, injury. You know, Mitchell Robinson uh, is not going to give you 20 points a game, but his presence inside, his rebounding, his defense, his shot blocking um, is going to be very very crucial uh, for the New York Knicks. So we ain't even sure if Mitchell Robinson would actually stay. If Mitchell Robinson's injury would be up to what date, we don't know any specifics as of yet. But uh, the unavailability of Mitchell Robinson may actually hurt them on this particular battle. Now, this is, again, going to be very interesting. Uh, both teams are displaying, uh, di displaying very good rotation. For the, for, for the New York Knicks, the top two. Uh, the top two uh, new players that they would that they would be having obviously would be Towns and uh, Bridges. Now for the Celtics with the uh, with Kristaps not not around, that may actually uh, that may actually spell um, a benefits for the New York Knicks because Towns can then actually show what he can do 
Shouts can uh, towns, sorry, can actually show the New York, the entire New York Knicks community that they were not wrong in acquiring him and throwing uh, some of their very good players away. Now, for Boston Celtics, they will be they will be uh, playing for pride. They will be uh, having like a small small ball right here because uh, the one who would start for them would be uh, Horford. Again, if the New York Knicks can take advantage of the absence of Kristaps Porzingis, New York Knicks may have success on this particular battle. Uh, one of the toughest, uh, one of the toughest uh, part of the season to make predictions on uh, is the start, the the, the first week. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if you guys are, are agreeing with that, but for me, uh, that's one of the toughest uh, parts of the the season. Uh, so what I normally do whenever it's like a toss coin, just like on this one, I actually side with the one with the you know with the with the plus. In this case, it's going to be the New York Knicks. Again, both teams they are strong. Both teams they have uh, very they they have their own reason to actually sh- go up there, do you know uh, do what they got to do. But for me, the New York Knicks. Uh, would would be able to make this one close. The Boston Celtics, with the presence of their crowd, you know, uh, with um, with the motivation that they will be getting whenever uh, once they receive those rings, they might be able to pull up a win in here. But five a five point uh, a five point spread is something that I think the New York Knicks would be able to uh, cover on this. And again, I might I won't even be surprised if the New York Knicks would be able to pull this one off with the absence of Chris Tapps, but of course we would want to keep it safe. So let's go ahead and take the New York Knicks plus five. Again, my pick on this one would be the Knicks plus five. I expect a huge game from Carl Anthony Townsend here. Again, that's Knicks plus five. Peace out. Pasay love. God bless.